Alright, so hey, what's up guys? My name is Eddie and we're here for episode 7 of Snap Survival. And on the last episode, we... <laughs> I showed it too much, I didn't want to show you that <laughs> right now, but whatever. <laughs> so on the last episode, we made the lair, the entrance of the lair, actually. And I asked a bunch of questions. Um, and about these maintenance rooms... Yeah, you guys thought it would be better to have the maintenance rooms. It would be a lot easier to have everything, actually. And, for example, I can leave everything, not have, like, a door or even brick blocks to get to everything. And you also told me to get rid of... Oh, wait. Let me get my armor on. Get rid of this. And let's put it, like, here. Bamboo. And... And we'll have it like this. So now please <laughs> tell me something to have here and here. Yeah, I think those are the only spots. I'm not sure about this if I'll only need if I'll need two maintenance rooms or only one. But I'll see that when I start on them. So give me extra ideas just in case, you know. <laughs> give me free ideas. Three of them. That's good. So on today's episode, as you might have seen from the not the thumbnail the yeah probably the thumbnail the title we will be doing the smelters the super smelters and maybe starting the storage room i am not quite sure if i actually want to make um sorting system because i want to get with into categories yeah, i think that's how i pronounce it because I don't want to have like 900 chests, one for each item, basically. So we'll, have, we'll do that. But let's start first with the store, the super smelter. Since we'll have here like the ore smelter and uh, here the everything else smelter, this one will have blast furnaces because I think they are faster with ores. Yeah, that's, I think that's the thing. What I want to do is have like, we'll have. A, f a few old blocks. Let me just get. Where is it? Oh, all right. So we'll have like here a fuel box and the smeltables. I'll rename these shulker boxes later. I forgot that. And we'll put here the smeltables, yield the fuel. They will be put down here, distribu distributed through all of the furnaces. And then what I want to do is to have everything come out here. So, like that, we can have only one output for each for one output for both of these furnace smelter inputs and i want to, the the reason i want to have with shulker boxes is because i can literally for example instead if i want to get every part of fuel in here i'll just go here pick up my fuel box break this and put this one on and things like that if i have like a shulker box full of sand if i want to get it into glass for some for some reason you can just pick it up and put it there so but but you also have to have always a shulker box here so, so that's the reason and i want a shulker box out i don't know why they said this color by the way <laughs> i just thought it would be a good color for the output and i want the shulker box out because if it's something like as i said the sand transforming into a lot of glass, I can just come here, pick it up, go away, and when I need it again, I'll just put the shulker box here again. So yeah, I think I have most of that cut out. So let's start doing this super smelter, because I have the furnaces with me. Let me just this here. I have the furnaces with me, but not the blast furnaces yet, so let's start with that. Uh... So yeah, let's start with that. I'll be back in a second. Alright, so for now, this is the easy part. <laughs> we'll have all the furnaces. We'll only have 8 furnaces. And this is expandable, so I can later make it a lot more lengthy. I can say I like that. Uh, but the easy part is now done. This is everything that is needed and by the way i didn't actually explain the reason i want it to be underground is because 
I don't want it to be interfering with anything else. Neither here or here. Because this will probably use some space on that side. Because I don't have any on this side. And, and since Mel and Pumpkin Farms are a little bit more, like, not chunkier, I guess. Because they're more square and things like that. I will probably need a little bit more space or more layers. I still am not sure. We'll have to get, get that figured out. Maybe on the next episode or the next episode after that. So now we will need the redstone circuits to control this thing that when this has any items in here, the minecart with the chest will be stuck here. So let's take care of that. And actually I didn't need to cut for that <laughs> because it was pretty simple as you can see. It's the same for both sides. So it's li literally just... So the comparator checks if this hopper has any item. If it has, it will turn send a signal, turning off this redstone torch. So turning off this, and so the this cart will be turned off. This track, this, this rail will be turned off. For example, if I show you if I have one item in here, it's turned off. So the second, the so the mine cart will just stop here and take the item. The hopper will give him the item and then he will just go back and forth back and forth again. So by default not this. By default it will be going back and forth. So and I can just like I'm not sure if that here. But yeah. I tried it on my creative world and it worked pretty fine so and I'm actually proud <laughs> I didn't need any tutorials to get to figure this out with one out. Since it's pretty Pretty easy, <laughs> but I was proud of myself. I sh hope you guys are also proud of me. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just and wait. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say that's everything done, but the output is still missing. Get another way up here. For now, let's leave it like this. So if I give it some coal and I just put the minecart in here. It's done, <laughs> which is nice. We just make the minecarts. All right, so as you can see, the minecarts is going back and forth. But the second I put, let's see, like a stick in here. Oh, wait, <laughs> let me get something. This, for example. This is a problem that might, hype, might happen from time to time, but it's nothing major. I'll end up with everything, so anyway. You will just get everything as soon as this let me just all right as yeah as you can see no items here turned off and he will be just distributing it we will go here there are some of them that yeah on the first ones this one has more because of the two of them that the one he picked up the, the one that he disposed when that th this turned off but he was still going and the one I put it first and the other ones have less because I didn't put eight at least so yeah that's why they have less they didn't put the multiple of eight so with this done now let's do the other part the super or smelter and I'll be back in a second hello Dave how are you doing I was smelting some stone and I thought that maybe I want a pet down there with me on the lair. We have Dave up here to roam around with us up here, but we have no one down there for us in the lair. So what mob do you think should be in the lair with us? Leave, leave it down in the comments down below. Should we get another wolf? Or should we do something like a ship? Or a bat? You know, bats are too difficult. <laughs> a llama? Anything like that, just leave it down in comments. Alright, so now we have both the Blast Furnace Smelter, aka the Super Ore Smelter, and the Super Smelter here. So now all we need to do is figure out how we want this part 
and how to get everything from here and the other side to here. What I want to do is with a dropper, we drop items into a water elevator. We just make the items glide all the way to this shulker box. And I am not sure if I want to be here or inset in the wall like this. For example, just come in here, pick it up. Or even if I want to be like up here. Actually, let's just probably put it here in the middle. Inset in the wall and then we can make something around it to decorate it. Yeah, I think that will do actually. So we will need to come here and we will need a hopper right here. So the water stream will will have to come through here. Yeah, for, on this block up until here to get the hopper in. Do I have any hoppers? No, let's make one. <laughs> so I can get a little bit more visual. I just do it here. Yeah, that's it. Just put it here. All right. Now I think it's easier to understand how this will go. We'll have our shulker box right here. All right. So let's get to work. All right, guys. I put the circuit in place. I want to show you guys itself before actually putting the water because as you can see i only have the soul sand here so as you can see you have this comparator in subtract mode a repeater just redstone coming here and this comparator will make it do a cycle and just redstone here to activate the dropper if i get something like this two pack dice in here as you can see it dropped both of them out that's simply it. I made the same on the other side, the furnace one. So yeah, that's it. I just have to put now the water in place and everything will be done, I think. <laughs> I don't wanna, I'll have to test it out. I'll test it out with you guys. All right, guys, I want to show you how I am doing this. As you can see over there, there is, uh, you can't actually see, but, uh, can see the sign over there yeah under it there's the water elevator then i have a stream of water coming in here this pressure plate is to make sure this water doesn't go there and so the water comes here it slides with pack dice underneath it and i have this water log glass pane because this way the, the items will hit this and will go this way instead of going back and forth here until they settle down the middle and just go so let's just get a little bit of items on the dropper and let's see if let's do this items right actually block this you can see it is dropping the items if we just go here Everything is coming through to the shulker box. Nice, so it is working. Let's see if we get everything. I think it was 35, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, nice. So, this part is done. Now, let's close this, this, and let's decorate it. Actually, let me just get rid of this. Let me just think how I want. Alright, so I decided I've done this room, not room, but this part. And since this is the smell or smell super smelter, I wanted to make this a divider and then I have smeltables let's say like that here something reminiscing of caves anything like that this one i am not quite sure what to do yet so I'll, for now it's like this give me your opinions in the comments 
I wanted to make something the likes of this, but I'm not sure what to put because should I put like glass and kelp blocks, dried kelp blocks, anything like that? I'm not sure. For this, I've just put it like this. I quite like this. Up here, we would <laughs> I would like to have like trophies, for example. Either item frames here and maybe higher, make this higher, or having something like um, Wither Scout and Skulls after we kill the Wither. And we'll have here some armor. Let's say, for example, just put this here. For example, here having a special, not special, but like when this set of armor, for example, becomes too expensive to repair. I'll just put it here, like retire it. This idea from the retire notion idea was actually taken from a YouTuber called Dallas. Dallas Ed, I think that's the channel name. Let me just oh, not this one. Get everything back in this. This is Alright. So I want to know your opinion on both of these things and let's put this actually i forgot to save some things in here so so let me just get my fuel box put a stack all in here let me just See if it's actually being correctly distributed. Really? Why is that? Oh, yeah, <laughs> because it's still stuck here. Because it's yeah, this still has. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. It was because it had a backlog. So let's see. All right. So I think everything's all right. Yeah, it seems nice. All right, so just made sure this is working. So now if I just put this here, let's just take a moment and see if everything comes out all right. Also, I didn't put anything here because I had an idea of using this whole space for the storage system, but like underground, even more underground, like giving, giving it to like this is the way down, this is the way up. I'll go down like five, six blocks. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, so we have the four ingots. Everything is working perfectly fine. Get the in here. So what I thought was making way in, way out or anything like that. And having using this whole space as a storage system but underneath this and maybe i'm not sure about this but i had the idea of having like a little pattern something like that and having glass here probably white stained glass so i can actually see the storage system let me know what you guys think i'll just dig the hole the entrances for now all right guys we may have a problem <laughs> as you can see the part where i wanted to give to have the entrance is literally underneath the part of the circuit so that's not good <laughs> so i have to figure something out maybe yeah maybe here okay, we'll just have this yeah let's just do it here all right guys so i've cleared actually now i've cleared this out as you can see here is actually the way to the mine that i had before I've covered it up. Um, so we will have here a storage system. Probably the walls will be full of chests. And if I go, let's see, like five blocks up. Yeah, probably something like probably something like five blocks up, and it's the the floor. Just a second. This floor right here. So we'll figure out all the design. In the next episode and how we want the storage system to go and if 
leave me in the comments if you actually like the idea of having glass on the top to actually see the storage system from up here. Or if you think that's actually a dumb idea and I shouldn't do it. <laughs> Alright guys, future Eddie here actually had another idea. Instead of having glass here, only glass, what about uh, an aquarium between things? Like having a layer of glass here, one or two layers of water, and fish, and things like that, and another layer of, of glass underneath. So we'll have an uh, aquarium floor here and an aquarium ceiling here. Let me know in the comments, guys. I'll have to end this uh, wait a second. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment what you thought about it, and the things I asked you, please. And also, subscribe for more content, follow me on Instagram, and bye!